sweatpants in these videos. Cause I ain't got no pants on. I've been trying to film my first YouTube video since like 2015. Basically, we should have been friends five years ago, but it was my fault and I'm sorry. Why it's taken me five years to film a YouTube video, I don't know. What I do know, however, is I'm here, I'm ready, we're gonna thrive, we're gonna succeed, and we're going to the top. I think we should address the elephant in the room. I am a dog mother. I have a dog child, as you can see, a piece of her profile. This is Mars. This is the only child that I have. Uh, please. Fuck them kids! No, I do want kids. I want kids. I want real kids. However, it took me five years to post a YouTube video. Obviously, there's something in Jade that's not ready for a kid. Oh my God! I didn't even tell you guys my name. My name is Jade Simone. These are 24 facts that y'all should know about me before subscribing to me and becoming friends. Period. I cannot dance. I don't know what it is. I don't. I don't have the rhythm. Like I really can't dance. Like, like I can't dance at all. I can't even Dougie, and Dougie was like my thing that I did when I was growing up. Um, and I can't do it. I never could. I couldn't really Frankie. I'm not physically coordinated for them. Like, I'm literally a type of girl. I would stand up and show you guys my dance moves. However, I don't have any pants on. You know what? I'm gonna put pants on. I'd be back. I went in and fixed the hat. Does the hat look better? Does it still look big at the top? Or, like I'm literally asking, does it look better? Cause I tried to like, mm, get differently on my head. Does it look better? I'm gonna go with this. Like you can genuinely see by just my coordination in doing that, I really don't have rhythm. And now y'all be like moving fast and stuff with like TikTok dances. I can't do that. I couldn't even do the dances that I was doing. I, I couldn't even hit the stanky leg on them. That's important to know because I really don't like being talked about. So when I don't dance right or it look goofy, y'all know the reason because I can't dance and I've made that very clear. I know some men is watching this. I am single, but I'm not looking. Don't call my phone asking for me because the answer gonna be no. Seriously, please don't ask me on a date. Please don't ask me to see you. Don't ask me to link up because I'm not going to do it. I hate musicals. I hate musicals so much. And I know I'm not the only person that feels this way. It's just like, yo, shut up. You don't have to sing every single thing that you're doing. Like, Especially musicals that don't say that they're musicals. Girl, I done invested 25 minutes into this goddamn movie. And now y'all wanna break out in songs for everything. Can you pass me the remote? I'm not trying to hear that. Girl, pass me the remote. I've hated musicals since I was a kid. All musicals aren't bad, however, I'm not gonna just sit there and voluntarily with my time, day, and energy to hear a musical. I can't swim. Like, I can swim. Like, I can pedal, like, underwater. But my lungs are really bad. <coughs> I really can't hold my breath that long. And like, I can swim as long as I'm swimming in like five feet of water. I'm five, six. So as long as I'm in like five feet of water, I'm fine. The problem where I say that I can't swim is like, you know when you're in like 12 feet of water and you kind of like gotta keep yourself up? I cannot keep myself up above water. One, my legs hurt. Two, when I don't feel the ground, I immediately feel like I'm drowning. My birthday is the same day as Rihanna's, so basically you guys are friends with Rihanna. You guys are really getting like a two-in-one combo because not only are you friends with Jade Simone, but now you're like basically friends with Rihanna. Look at us. The greatest drink of all time is ginger ale. Ginger ale? Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Anywhere I go, if they serve ginger ale, I'm going to take it. I drink ginger ale like it's water. 
literally. God touched Ginger Ale himself and was like, this is healing. If you haven't from this video already clicked on my social media, you'll see that I don't have a lot of pictures because I'm really not photogenic. I look so much prettier in person and so much prettier on video, but like in pictures, I don't know. Like it's very rare that I get a really cute picture. I'm just not photogenic. So these photographers are asking me like, hey, I want to shoot you. Hey, I want to do this. Hey, I want to do that. I'm just like, I'm really not photogenic. So unless you can make this how I look in videos and in person, come out on a camera, then yes, I'm down. As cute as I am in person, it's like the pictures don't reflect that. And I know I'm not the only person that feels like this. I look in person, how I look in the mirror, how I look in pictures, how I look in videos, it's just all different. Which is probably why I'm like, Am I cute? Do not wake me up. Unless someone is literally dying, there's no reason you need to wake me up. I don't care if I said, please wake me up, it's important that you wake me up, don't do it. Cause you're just gonna get yelled at at the end. Why is you waking me up? Why? Why? I know you didn't wake me up just to talk. I know you didn't wake me up just to tell me something cause that could have waited when I woke up. Nigga, I'm asleep. Unless there's someone, not just someone, people that I love and close to are dying, there is no reason that I need to be woken up. Do you not have a way there? And the response is like, yeah. Yeah, you don't have a way there, or yeah, you do have a way there. I have one niece, two sisters, two parents, two grandmothers, about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, cousins and five best friends. And these people are the ones that are closest to me. I am from the great country of Texas, baby. Trippity! Hence the cowboy hat, hence the whole vibe. I am super afraid of rodents. Armadillos, possums, rats, mice, birds. You might as well take me now, Lord. I'm ready. Lord, take me now. I'm terrified of those things, but I'm not terrified of snakes. I would honestly get a pet snake, but who's gonna feed them the bugs? Who's gonna feed them rodents? If something stinks, it's like my whole mood changes. Like the whole aura around me goes from calming, warm, and loving and welcoming to I can't talk or think or really breathe because something stinks. I have such a strong nose, like when I smell something that stinks or even if I smell anything, it's like I can taste it. I can smell something like laundry detergent and it smells so good and I feel like I can taste it just like I can smell something like trash or poop and I feel like I can taste it. And it makes me so mad. The moment it hits my nostrils, I'm immediately irritated. This statement may lose some of you guys. I hate seafood. That shit stinks. And to me, it all smells like fish, and it all tastes like fish, okay? ASL does not mean as hell. It does not mean that. That sounds like ASL. It doesn't look like as hell. It looks like asshole. Asshole. I'm tired of asshole. Asshole. Asshole, asshole, I'm tired, asshole. I'm tired, asshole. I see it a little bit, but it don't look cute when you read it. Once I'm friends with you, that's it. Like, I'm your friend, I ain't going nowhere. Like, I don't give a fuck how mad you get. You're stuck with me, you're stuck with me. You're literally stuck with me. Y'all saw my head looking crazy. Why I didn't say nothing? I am not an introductory type of person. Hi guys, hey how are ya? Welcome back. I'm not that type of person and I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't do it in real life. This is a friendship. Why do we have to keep introducing ourselves? You know what I mean? I really don't even introduce myself in person. Like in real life, I don't introduce myself. I'll start a whole conversation with them and then at the end of the conversation I'm like, oh sorry, my name is Jade, what's your name? And they're like, oh, Mary J. Blige. And I'm like, oh, that's not the scenario of all things. Obviously, in professional reasons, I would introduce myself. But casual reasons, sis, what did you do? 
I've realized that I am going places in life. And I've seen this cycle for other people where you guys like do the research and the dirt and find all this information out about people. You might find something out about me. I don't know if I've ever said anything offensive. I don't know if I've ever said anything like derogatory or offensive because I can't think back from when I was a kid. But I'm just saying now, I'm sorry, and you're probably like, that's not a sincere apology. It actually is. I was a fucking kid. As we all know, kids are fucking mean and fucking rude, and I'm sure all my life have said something that was very rude to somebody or that's hurt somebody and not really thought about the intentions behind it or really just thought I was just being funny and thought it was just words. Now that I'm 24 years old, who I was prior to me right now, that's not who I am. I really am sorry like if it did offend someone or if it really brought a bad taste in your mouth. But to the people who just wanna talk shit, bitch, fuck you. Love God, you don't love God? What's wrong with you? And I'll say it till I can't say it anymore. I'll say it until all the air is out of my breath. I'll say it on my very last breath. I love God. I'm not here to judge you. I don't care how you are. I don't care what you did. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what you've done. I love you now. I love you where you are. I support you. I'm here for you. Genuine friendship. This is literally us being friends, okay? Channel is literally a channel full of love and happiness and craziness and goofiness and dumb stuff. And this is a safe haven channel. This is a channel judgment free and just full of fun. I'm pretty sure I've given y'all 24 facts. We'll find out if I did or didn't. 24 facts that you needed to know about Jay Simone. So that way when you subscribe, you know what you're getting yourself into because once you're here, you can't leave and that's on period. I say period a lot. You know it'd be messed up? If this whole time, my lips was crusty during this whole video and y'all didn't tell me.